In this game, we're playing AP Annie in the mid lane, and once again, as the game starts, our very first concern is fending off invades, and this is why we drop a trinket in the river brush. Misfortune and Leona are keeping a lookout at the bottom tribe brush, and this forms a perfect defense against any potential invades. Once the laning phase is underway, things are pretty boring at the start. Zyra outranges us, so we have to hang back a bit and focus on dodging her plants as we try to farm minions. Last setting with Annie is very easy thanks to the fact that Disintegrate is on such a little cooldown and it refunds mana and part of its cooldown when you last hit a minion with it. About two and a half minutes in, Jarvan is going for a level 2 gank on the bottom lane and our team picks up a kill on Twitch. One thing to note here is that Jarvan only has his red buff and if the enemy jungler has half a brain, he may have noticed it and will start to go for Jarvan's blue buff. As a jungle main, this is something that I should really be thinking about even though I'm in the mid lane. Luckily, Jarvan asked me to ward his blue buff and that's when I understood why we need to have it warded. It's because we need to have vision on Kain if he chooses to invade. Afterwards, the laning phase continues in a very boring fashion for quite some time until I reach level 6. I'm going to recall to buy some items, but I'm not looking at the shop. I'm looking at the top lane and I see that Kain and Sange are pressuring our Yasuo and Jarvan. So instead, I cancel my recall and head towards the top lane to help out Yasuo. We come around the wall up top, drop Tibbers on Singed, and pick up our first kill. After we recall, I'm going to buy Mobility Boots as my very first item. The reason that I buy this item is that it helps me get around the map much faster than opponents would have time to take precautionary measures in response to my absence in the mid lane. We try to make a play up top again, but Singed is onto us and he's not getting caught by the same trick twice. We go back to laning as normal and nothing of significance happens for quite some time until Zyra pokes us down a bit and backs off. We're going to take this opportunity to visit the bottom lane. We thought we could sneak up on the bottom lane but instead we get spotted by a control ward and clear that instead. As I head back to the tri brush, I notice that Zyra is making her move to intercept me along my return path so I need to be careful. I decide to wait in the tri brush for a bit and Zyra triggers the scryer's bloom trying to get vision on me. Luckily I'm not seen. I try for a gank again on the bottom lane and this time Leona catches Twitch. We drop Tibbers on Twitch preventing him from taking Thresh's lantern to safety and we get another kill for our team. As we head back to the mid lane, we keep an eye on the enemy Zyra knowing that she wants to intercept us along our return path. If Zyra catches us here, she will kill us, so instead of taking the easy route back to the mid lane, we go all the way around taking a safe path back to mid. This is extremely important when roaming, do not just roam blindly and get killed when going back to lane. Afterwards, we see Jarvan coming in from the top side and we work with Jarvan to take down Zyra. Kain comes in trying to solve the play and luckily for us, Yasuo and Leona arrive at the mid lane to help us and this allows both Jarvan and I to survive. Kain gets killed for his efforts and our team comes out on top. As you recall and come back from base, we notice some action in the bottom lane. Leona's absence from the lane when she came to help us at mid has caused Twitch and Thresh to step up their aggression on Misfortune. They tower dive Misfortune and try to kill her and she barely escapes with her life as Jarvan comes in to save her. As Thresh and Twitch retreat, we notice that Thresh is low on HP and I predict that Thresh will go to the safety of his turret to recall. Expecting this, I change my path from going straight back to mid to pathing through the jungle coming behind the top side enemy bottom turret where we find and kill Thresh immediately. And it looks like Twitch got greedy, sticking around hoping for a kill on Misfortune, and so we kill him as well. Afterwards, we work with the rest of our team to take the dragon. As we come back from the dragon pit, we go back to farming in the mid lane until Zyra pokes us out, driving us low on HP, and we recall to buy more items. It is at this point that we see the first signs of trouble as Singe takes Yasuo's turret despite our early game efforts. Earlier, we advised our Yasuo to build a Hex Drinker and a Blade of the Ruined King in order to deal with the HP stacking Singed and the eventual threat from Zyra. Unfortunately, he decided to build an Infinity Edge instead and is now scared of Singed who outdamages him. A whole lot of fighting ensues in our effort to catch out Singed in our topside jungle, but nothing really comes of it which is bad considering our lead. I'm at low HP after the skirmish, so I recall to buy more items before heading back towards the mid lane. This time, Leona is standing by the river brush at mid and Zyra is overextended. So when we arrive at mid, we immediately go all in on Zyra and with the help of Leona, we secure the kill on the enemy mid laner. Singe teleports in and tries to kill us, but luckily Jarvan comes in and traps him inside a cataclysm. And so with the help of Jarvan and Leona, we finish off Singed as well. Given that we've just punished Zara for overextending, I'm confident that she will not be pushing so hard. We head back to base, buy some more items, and head directly for the bottom lane intent on diving the enemy AD carry and support. 
As we go up the river to try and set up a gank from behind the turret, we happen upon Kain who was poised for a gank, and so we kill him instead. Twitch and Thresh are not going to stick around for the four-man dive on the bottom tower, so they decide to retreat and we get the turret for free. Once more, we head back to base, buy some more items, and then charge out to the mid lane. I'm the only one on my team who's fed right now, and I'm feeling super confident. This is going to be my undoing. As I waltz up mid intent on bullying Zyra back, Singed comes in from behind and catches me, and together with Zyra's ult, they both kill me. This is going to be a problem for my team as I'm carrying most of the gold that my team has and as soon as I am down, we lose most of our power. As soon as I am dead, three members of the enemy team wipe out the four useless boosted animals that this game has given me as teammates. What makes things worse is that Zyra did not even need her ultimate and the enemy Twitch was not even part of this fight. It is now that I realize just how much trouble my team is in. Because I got caught at mid, we lost a turret and my entire team got wiped out. We cannot afford to make the same mistake again. This goes back to a previous video that I made about getting fed and throwing games. When you are the only one who is fed on your team, you cannot afford to go 1 for 1, 1 for 2, or sometimes even 1 for 3. Respawning in base, we buy some more items before heading back down the mid lane cautiously. We see some action in the bottom lane and I notice that Thresh and Twitch are overextended and they are now fleeing from my team. We head up through the river to intercept them and I catch Thresh with the edge of Tibber stunning him and this allows my team to secure the kill on Thresh. Our team does try to push the second bottom turret off this kill but the enemy team fends us off successfully. Our key mistake here was that we tunneled so hard on trying to kill Thresh and Twitch that we forgot to bring the minion wave in the bottom lane to push this turret. And now with Singed split pushing the top lane, we are forced to retreat and deal with Singed. As we are trying to recall, Twitch comes in and tries for a sneak attack on my teammates. And so we cancel our recall animation and head over to help out, killing Twitch in the process. This fight also draws on the enemy Kain who gets killed for his efforts as well. The Singed threat still hasn't been taken care of mind you, so he's done a ton of damage to our second top turret. Coming out of base, we try to burst him down, but he just activates his ultimate and runs away laughing. Despite the score being 14 to 8 for our team, the enemy team is actually ahead of us in gold. This creates a lot of pressure on me personally to make something happen with my lead and that's what leads to our next mistake. As we come up the mid lane, I'm planning on flash alting the first enemy carry that I can get my hands on to get an immediate numbers advantage. I see Zyra standing out in front and so I flash onto her and press all my buttons expecting her to die before she can react and here was my crucial mistake. I did not check the items that Zyra was building, I just assumed that she would die immediately. Had I noticed the Rod of Ages combined with the magic resist and tenacity that she had built, I would have known that she's more durable than she looks and that a Hextech Portabolt and a Rabidon's Deathcap might not be enough to finish her off. Zyra survives and my all in goes to waste. With my abilities now on cooldown, it's safe for Twitch to come out of the shadows and he goes all in on me, killing me immediately. This was a mistake that I could not afford to make as the fed person on the team and now my team is going to pay the price for it as everyone gets wiped out. The game is now heavily tilted in the enemy team's favor. After acing my team, the enemy team goes on to take two more turrets down the mid lane. And now we have inhibitors exposed. We buy our next set of items coming out of base and we now know that we cannot reliably solo kill Zyra so we will avoid making that same mistake again. As I'm wandering the map, Leona tries to get vision of the Baron Pit and in doing so she draws the attention of the enemy Kain and Singe to go all in trying to kill her. Yasuo and I try coming in to save Leona and we manage to kill Singed. Unfortunately, Kain takes me down with the help of Thresh and once again our team is doomed. Also, Twitch caught and killed Misfortune as she was heading towards the fight which was a smart move by Twitch. Once again, our team gets wiped out and this time the enemy team gets our inhibitor. And now comes the final major error of the game. The enemy team has decided to go to Dragon and the duo Jarvan and Yasuo on my team make the call that we're going to do Baron while the enemy team does Dragon. This is a really bad idea. An exception could be made for the Elder Dragon as that takes a considerable amount of time to take, but any normal dragon will get cleared instantly leaving us vulnerable to the enemy team if we attempt Baron. Nonetheless, two players on our team have decided that we're doing Baron and the other two have followed along so I have to go along with this and try to do the best that I can. My ultimate has not come off cooldown from the last team fight, so it will not be available when the enemy team comes rushing at us. I tried to stay in a side brush hoping to catch Twitch and Zyra as the enemy team comes at us but instead I get found by Singed and I get killed immediately. And once more the rest of my team gets wiped out and from here we go on to lose the game. 
This here was an example of a game where we got fed and we got our team ahead making all the right moves but our team kind of sucked and we ended up losing anyway despite our best efforts. The key lesson here is how razor thin the margin of error is when you are ahead and need to carry teammates who are not performing that well. I was the priority target for the enemy team and I could not afford to screw up but I screwed up anyway multiple times and that led to our loss. Here is the summary of the key errors that I made this game. My first mistake was letting all those kills that I got go straight to my head. I got complacent with my lead and thought I was unstoppable. I should have realized from the previous attempt on my life in the mid lane that Singed would come after me again and he came at me the moment I wasted my stun on the minions in the mid lane. I only survived last time because of my teammates who were there to help me. This time without my teammates, I die instead. The next major mistake that I made was flashing in for a solo kill on Zyra without checking the items that she had built. This mistake along with the previous one was responsible for the two massive gold spikes that the enemy team received helping them get back into the game. The last major error of the game was made at the Baron pit. Even though the fight was lost the moment my team decided to do the Baron, I did not play this as well as I could have. With most of the team's gold riding on me, I could not afford to be the one out front getting caught by Singe and Thresh. I should have stayed behind my team so that I'm not the first one to die. This would not have salvaged this particular team fight, but it could come in handy in future games. And you only get better by putting in your best effort no matter the odds. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to the channel, follow on Twitter, and check out the video links on either side. Leave a comment about the kind of content you'd like to see in future videos and check out the Patreon link if you'd like to support this channel directly.